The Iranian military took a significant step forward by launching a military satellite into space on September 27, 2023. This news has caused a stir among many countries, especially the United States and Israel, creating a palpable tension in the international arena. Let's delve into the might of the Iranian army. The Iranian armed forces boast two distinct military forces. First, there's the Revolutionary Guard, also widely known as the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Secondly, there's the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran, colloquially known as Artesh, which serves as the national army. Artesh is composed of four branches, the Army, Navy, Air Force, and the newly formed Air Defense Force, each playing a pivotal role in the nation's defense. The National Army of Iran known as the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Ground Forces, and in the Persian language referred to as Nezaja, has a rich history that dates back to the establishment of the Persian Empire. It has evolved into a modern army since 1923, adapting and growing through various geopolitical and military landscapes. Nezaja has been involved in numerous crucial operations over the years. From Operation Fath ul Mobin in 1981, where Iranian forces launched a massive counterattack into Iraqi territory in retaliation for previous Iraqi aggressions, to a year earlier where Iranian forces triumphed in desert battles, marking an unforgettable defeat for the United States due to a failed hostage rescue operation. Fast forward to Operation Zulfikar e Vilayat in 2020, which was conducted in response to escalating tensions in the Persian Gulf. Iran described it as a strategic military exercise involving various branches of the armed forces, showcasing their military prowess and strategic capabilities. Currently, Nizaja comprises 350,000 personnel out of a total military personnel of 1,015,000 individuals. They are funded from an overall military budget that reaches a substantial $5.5 billion, ensuring they are equipped and prepared for various military endeavors. Iran operates a diverse fleet, each piece crucial in maintaining and asserting their military strength. Let's take a closer look at their armament strength. According to the Global Firepower website, Iran's military strength ranks 17th globally. The Iranian army possesses assets of 69,685 vehicles, including 4,071 tanks, 580 self-propelled artillery, 2,050 towed artillery, and 1,085 rocket projectors, each playing a vital role in their ground operations. For standard equipment, they utilize pistols such as the PC-9 Zoaf, FN High Power, and Colt M, 1911A1. Their light machine guns include the Tonder MPT-9 and MPT-9S, which are variants of the German-made Heckler and Amp, Coke MP5, the Spanish-made Star Model Z84, and the Israeli-made Uzi. For their shotguns, they employ the Hudson Escort MPATS, a variant of a break-action shotgun designed for various applications, including security, law enforcement duties, sport shooting, and hunting, manufactured in Turkey. Then when it comes to their battle rifles, they utilize the German-made Heckler and Ampi Coke G3A6, along with the Iranian-made Masaf II, Zulfikar Z1, and Azarch. Their assault rifles include the KLS, KLF, KLT, which are replicas of the AK Platform Type 56 and AKM. Additionally, there are the KL-133, Sayad 5.56, Fajr 224, and seven other types of assault rifles. For sniper rifles, they are equipped with the Nakjir, Siyavash, Tahir, Stair HS.50, Shahir, and Arash. And for machine guns, they have the RPK Rheinmetall MGA3 PKM W85 MGD 
CS slash LM2A and Moharam. Now shifting our focus to their grenades, the Iranian army employs the Iranian-made Nasser grenade, the Kaveh 30 and GP25 from Russia, and the M79 from the United States. Next, the Iranian army's anti-tank weapons utilize a variety of anti-tank weapons to counter enemy armored vehicles and tank targets. Starting with the RPG-7, a widely used portable rocket launcher in anti-tank warfare, this relatively lightweight, user-friendly weapon can effectively demolish armored vehicles. Then, there's the Russian-made RPG-29 anti-tank rocket launcher capable of penetrating thicker outer steel layers than the RPG-7. This weapon has higher penetration capabilities and poses a serious threat to modern armored vehicles. Furthermore, there's the Type 69 RPG anti-tank rocket launcher developed by China. This weapon is also used by the Iranian army and has the capability to penetrate the steel layers of enemy vehicles. Additionally, the SPG-9 recoilless gun can be used for anti-tank warfare. This weapon utilizes 73 mm caliber ammunition and has sufficient penetration capabilities to destroy tank targets and the American-made M40 anti-tank rifle. Although not a rocket launcher like the RPG variants, this rifle uses ammunition with sufficient penetration capabilities to combat armored vehicles. Now, let's explore their collection of anti-tank missiles, starting from the Tufan with its variants up to seven types. Then there are Segi-12, Quayim, Delavi, Rod, 9K111 Faggot, 9M113 Conkers, Tausan 1, 9K115 2, Midas M. The main battle tanks of Nizaja include the Karar, a domestically developed Iranian main battle tank that stands as a new generation tank, boasting capabilities comparable to other modern main battle tanks. Then there's the T-72S, a version of the Soviet T-72 main battle tank, which has been modified and utilized by the Iranian army. Additionally, there's the T-72 Raksh, another modified version of the T-72 used by Iran. Furthermore, the Zulfikar MBT-1, 2, 3 family of Iranian-made main battle tanks have undergone several developmental iterations. Also in their arsenal is the T-72 Z Safir 74, a modification of the Soviet T-72 main battle tank, the British-made Chieftain tank and its variant named Moberez, and lastly the M60A1 Samsom, a modified version of the M60A1 Patton tank, are also part of their formidable lineup. Next we have light tanks such as the Tozen, often considered a light tank with commendable mobility. It can be utilized for various roles, including reconnaissance and light infantry support, and the British-made FV-101 Scorpion. Although more accurately described as a combat vehicle rather than a tank, the Scorpion is a versatile vehicle with reconnaissance and light attack capabilities. Both vehicles demonstrate a crucial role in supporting lighter, high-mobility defense needs and military operations across diverse terrains. Now let's transition to looking at Armored Personnel Carriers, or APCs, which are armored combat vehicles designed to transport infantry troops on the battlefield. The Iranian army possesses the Iranian-made Bora, whose design and technology were adopted from the American M113 Armored Combat Vehicle. Then there's the OT-62 Topaz, made in Poland and Czechoslovakia, first developed in the 1960s. Lastly, there's the American-made M113A1-M577. The M577 is a variant of the M113 designed as a command and control vehicle. The M113 is one of the most produced amphibious armored combat vehicles in the world and has been adopted by numerous countries globally. Not to be left out is their collection of wheeled armored personnel carriers, which includes the Raksh and Haidar. For amphibious vehicles, they have the Macron IFV, and for infantry fighting vehicles, they have the BMP-2. 
Their AFVs include the M113, 12C, and R Lynx. The Iranian Army, Iron, also operates anti tank missile carriers such as Piruz, E9 Cascavel, E11 Urutu, MRAP Tufan, and Ra'ad. These vehicles serve to transport, launch, and support anti-tank missile operations to destroy or damage enemy armored vehicles such as tanks. Moreover, the Iranian army is equipped with various assault helicopters like the Hessa Shahid, 285, IIO Tufan, and Panha 2091. They also utilize military transport utility helicopters such as the Hessa Shahed 274, Hessa Shahed 278, Mil Mi 17, Augusta Bell 206, Bell UH 1 and Twin Huey, and Boeing CH 47 Chinook. Additionally, they have transport aircraft like the French made Dassault Falcon 20, Dutch made Fokker F 27, Friendship, and American made Aero Commander and Cessna 185. Shifting our focus to their extensive artillery collection, they have a wide range, from the 37mm Marsh Mortar HM-12 up to HM-16 Razum Mortar to Vafa Mortar. They also have multiple rocket launcher systems like Fajr-1 through Fajr-5, Shaheen-1 and 2, BM-21 Grad and BM-27 Uragan. Their self-propelled artillery includes Rod-1, 2S-1 Gvozdika, Rod-2, M-109A-1, M1978, M107, and M110. And their towed artillery includes M101A1, 2A18M, 122MMD74 Type 60 field gun, 122MM HM40, Type 54, and nine other types. For anti-ship missiles, they utilize Khalij FARS, Chai-2 Silkworm, Nassar-1, NOR, and six other types. And for ballistic missiles, they have Tondar-69, Ogab, Nazayat, Zelzal, and Fateh-110. Before we conclude, I'd also like to showcase various collections of short, medium, long-range, and portable air defense systems owned by the newly formed Iranian Air Defense Force. This unit is distinct from the Iranian Air Force. For their air defense artillery systems, they have ZU-23-2, Samovat, Sa'ir, Mesba-1, ZSU-23-4 Shilka, and ZSU-57-2. Then, for their short-range air defense missile systems, they possess Rapier, Hertz-9, Tor missile system, and Yazara-3. For medium-range air defense missile systems, they are equipped with MIM-23 Hawk, 2 K-12 Cub, Mursad, Cayman 2, Rod 1, 2, and AMP, Kordad 3. And for long-range air defense missile systems, they have Sayad 2, Kordad 15, Air Defense System, S-200 Fajr 8 and S-200 Gara, S-300 Missile System, S-300 PMU-2 System, and Bavar 373 System. Lastly, they also have portable air defense systems like Misag-2, Misag-3, and Kim, 